Hey guys, Tabno here. Today I'm going to be reviewing another product by La Roche per se. This is something you're interested in, then keep on watching. This is not a first impression video. I've actually used this um, sunscreen before and I love it and I still do use it actually and I just thought it's best to share with you guys especially if you are oily skin and you've been looking for that perfect you know face mist to reapply your sunscreen during the course of your day so that's what this video is all about so I'm going to start first with a hand swatch then I'll do a bare skin application then I'll do a makeup application so this product is described to be exceptionally high protection sunscreen mist for oily and blemish prone skin prone to sensitivity since i've described it now it's time to do a hand swatch before i move to face application okay So it's time for face application on bare skin. This is what I look like. Look at me very well. Um, because I think I look a bit shiny, I know it's the light doing that. I'm just going to use a paper towel to dab any excess shine I have, which I know I don't, but okay. Is there actually anything on my face? I feel like I look seen. I'm going to shake the mist. Shake it up. No matter whatever product you have, even if it's a liquid sunscreen, shake it. Let everything mix. Okay, let's read some instructions, okay? So on the bottle, it is said to be an SPF 50 slash UVA PE29. So it says face, high protection, UVA slash UVB, it helps to prevent oxidative stress induced by infrared A and pollution. Warning, spray at a minimum of 15 centimeters from the face. Spray evenly onto face, but don't spray for more than three seconds in one place. Close the eyes and the mouth during application and do not intentionally inhale this wipe excess product from eyes and mouth post application it's good we read that make sure you keep this away from children so this sunscreen claims to be water resistant applies well over makeup and it is good for sensitive oily skin so let's jump into applying this on my skin so i'm going to take my hand a little far from my face i don't know if this is 15 centimeters but we'll make it work um close my eyes close my mouth So I'm done applying, do not intentionally inhale, so when you're done, chill a bit or just stay where there is um, open air, I think that's better. So now I'm done spraying and this is my face, there is no shine guys, see, no shine, no single shine, even if I decide to spray more, let me close my nose and do the side. So I know how well this product, I don't even need to blend in the product, but if you want to, it's your choice because it's not there. Amazing. This mist is so beautiful on the skin. I can't actually compare this spray um, sunscreen to any I've tried. Like none of them has come close to it. So literally in all the ones that I have used, this is my favorite and this is the best. And if you have, um, oily to acne prone skin i i suggest you should pick this up it's your guy like it's your guy i'm telling you this would change your life i just really wish this was in a bigger bottle like they should make it in a bigger form i also have another la roche posay um sunscreen spray sunscreen i'm going to review for you guys to see um that'll be my next video i believe 
haven't recorded it yet just so you know <laughs> so i'll be comparing this with that one or just record that one alone and refer you guys back to this video so this sunscreen claims to be a moisturizing spray it absorbs quickly can be worn over makeup doesn't leave you with a wide cast it's water resistant and lastly sensitive oily skin can also use this so it's time to talk about the ingredients so this sunscreen contains canosine it's a peptide there's tocopherol in it glycerin and sodium hyaluronate just calling the key ones then for the sunscreen filters this contains homosalate octosalate octocrylene avobenzone mexoril xl and ovinol t1 50. so according to the ingredient list this does not contain alcohol so it's alcohol free but it does contain fragrance slash perfume which is at the bottom end of the ingredient list so this retails for 14 pounds you can get this off larish process website in the uk canada i think um i haven't seen this on larish process us website so guys i am back with my makeup on so now it's time for us to test this on makeup let's start No words. There's no shine on my face. This is how I looked and this is how I'm still looking after application. I really do love this. I just feel like we need this in a bigger tube because it can finish fast. In short, it's almost finished. <laughs> Pick this up if you see it anywhere. Like, just get it. It's for you. It lives up to its claim. So guys, I really love this sunscreen spray and I recommend it to you. Especially if you're acne prone skin or oily, even combination skin. To add, this is really good for reapplication. So basically, if you apply your regular cream-based sunscreen and you're out and you don't want to look like a grease ball, just, you know, pat your face with a paper towel and spray this all over, even when you have makeup or when you don't have makeup. So guys, with that being said, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you guys found my video helpful. If you did find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, like it, share it, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one. Also, let me know in the comment section if you've tried this out, if you intend purchasing it, and your general thoughts. Until next time, I'll see you guys in my next one.